I have been a big fan of Don Brothers since it kind of aired. I didn't expect for me to like it as much as I do because I think it's one of the best Sentais that we've had for a very long time and I am generally enjoying it week after week and when it ends, I think it's going to be one of those Sentais that I will generally really miss on a big wide level. I am very sad that it's going to end very, very soon. And I don't want it to end. I want it to have a season two. It's the, probably one of the only other Sentais I want to have a season two. And I cannot wait for the movies. And then the 10 year later, cannot wait for that. I really, really want to see it. To me personally, I've not seen something like this for a very long time. And it makes me sad that we may not get another Sentai like this for a very long time. My kind of thoughts on King Oja, I generally think that's going to be something very different. But I don't think it will catch the magic of Don Brothers, the Sentai that I love the most. So it got me thinking, this would be perfect for Power Rangers. Now I've talked about how I would adapt it or it should be adapted. And then since then, lots more stuff has kind of come up. And I want to talk about it. I want to make a video on this because I think it's really cool. Originally, I generally thought that the story of as a Peach Boy would not be able to translate because it's a Japanese, how do I say? It's a Japanese tale of a story. But to be fair, like I've not really, I don't know the story of that one. But seeing this, there's not been like a traditional thing for it. So it got me thinking it could be turned into Power Rangers and literally just the fight scenes alone would be perfect. Now, originally I said that the CGI probably wouldn't do very well and it would be really expensive to kind of do it. And I don't think it would be considering you've got all the models, you'd have to kind of shoot the right one. And if you brought the team over that did the stunts for Don Brothers and you brought them over to America, no, New Zealand, sorry, and got them to do it, I think it would work really, really well because they already know what to do. You know, Simon could talk to the uh, executive producer over there as well, you know, the showrunner and say, hey, how did you do this? And go through each one. But even if they didn't do that, they could easily probably change it a little bit. They already have the suits for the Pink and Black Ranger. So why not turn around and actually use them rather than CG? You have that. You could effectively have maybe a adult sized Black Ranger. It would look really, really weird, but you could streamline the helmet so much. And because there's not that much footage of them in their suits, it would be perfect because why not? I Just thinking about it would be kind of cool, but I think the CGI stuff would be kind of cool in New Zealand and doing it that way. And if you really kind of think about it, at times, um, the Black Ranger isn't actually in it, you know, comparative. He is, but he isn't. It's like, you know, it's different scenes. So I think that could work in their eyes. And majority of the time is you see the actual actors rather than CG. You could also take a lot of the elements from the show and kind of incorporate them in. You know, you have stuff like, you know, if you want to teach them a lesson at the end of the day, Don Mamataro can't lie change that whole thing from the oh he's you know he dies just to be like he can't lie he gets ill or he gets sick or he just cannot lie i think that you could really incorporate that hell i didn't even write this but you could have one ranger come back from another series and be zenkai black or their version of it again you could really just redo the entire suit to make it kind of fit in again would be kind of different but would work out really well you also have the fact that hasbro are making their own stuff you don't have to use the sentai avataro changes that we've seen and you know, talking about that, it's very hardly used. So if you imagine that you could have the uh, past Power Ranger ones come along or even not use them that much and just use, I don't know, the gears to activate powers, but majority of the time, you don't even see them transform into other Sentai warriors. So it makes more sense. You could make your own stuff and occasionally have that in if you wanted it with the suits that you have on set. I think it would work perfectly because when we first saw Don Brothers and it was like, oh, this is Gokaija 2.0, we generally thought every single week or every other week that they would transform into past Sentai teams, but they haven't even done that. What the hell? It would make perfect sense to adapt Power Rangers, adapt 
Don Brothers into Power Rangers. I know two things. Super Mega Force wasn't written very well, so this could be a kind of like, shit, sorry guys, we dropped the ball on this one, so we're making this one for you. And effectively, I know that Simon doesn't really want past teams to kind of work with. Uh, he talked about it with, um, with Gokaija when Saban said that they don't want to work with pirates. That's going to be a video on its own. But again, you don't have to have the suits before MMPR, like obviously, we, which we saw in Super Mega Force. You can have your own thing. Like you can have the newer suits if you've got access to them. That would be a, a cool thing. Again, very little change for it. Me personally, I would love to see this. I think that with how much fun it is, how the characters interact with each other, I generally think this would be a really kind of good fit for Power Rangers to adapt Don Brothers. And it's one that I would love to kind of see. And I would support if it was written very well. And considering what we've seen with Dino Fury, what we're gonna probably see with Cosmic Fury, and if it's that kind of element to it, I think that that would work perfectly. I generally think that this would be one of the better ones to do. And now with the right guide, guidement, with the, the ah, with the right movement with from Simon and his team, if they carry on, you know, I don't know about Entwistle and his stuff, but either way, if Simon and his team worked on it, I think that it would make a fantastic series. Hopefully more episodes than 10, but in theory, it would be a fantastic opportunity to bring a really fun Sentai across that actually holds a lot of merit and is a very cool one to have indeed. I thought this would be a very fun video to kind of talk about. I would love to see Don Brothers be adapted into Power Rangers, even if they changed a few things, if they didn't really use much Sentai, but they used the, the kind of the Don Blasters and stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of cool. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. What are your thoughts? Would you th uh, Do you think that Don Brothers would work? Yay or nay? Let me know down below. And with that, I'll see you in a bit. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございますチャンネル登録・高評価お願いします以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。